है somebody asks me this question that he is interested in a career in quantitative finance and he wants to emigrate to a, a developed country and uh, start a career there so which countries uh, are are most suitable for for him right so i would like to discuss about that i would like to discuss about uh, where you can find good quantitative finance jobs and i'll also talk about other aspects of immigration for example you know where you can easily get a visa or work permit because without that we won't be able to work there right and there are other aspects also right uh, in some country you cannot simply uh, get a job from abroad right you have to go there uh, be a student you know do your master's degree or bachelor degree or do your phd there and only then you will be able to you know get a job so i'll talk about all of the things right so the thing is that uh, quantitative finance jobs are mostly available in in developed countries uh, but there are also some jobs available in less developed countries india is an exception because many developed countries they outsource their job outsource their work to india so india is an exception but other than india there are not many developing countries where you can find a uh, good number of quantitative finance jobs right so there are many developed countries let's start with the united states so united states is uh, the biggest market for quantitative finance you know it's a country with the biggest financial center new york is the biggest financial center in the world so it goes without saying that you have the maximum number of quant jobs over there and also big uh, you know thanks to the big uh, us banks you have many quant jobs uh, there in the us but the problem is that you cannot simply get a quant job in us sitting in india or you cannot simply emigrate uh, right um, is possible i'll i'll talk about that but for most people it's not that easy right visa or work permit is very difficult uh, in the us so you have to then go there do a masters in uh, in statistics in quantitative finance or data science only then you will be able to you know get get the jobs and i have friends who had to go to us and study there only then they managed to get get uh, get a job there uh, in quantitative finance but there are also some examples where you know there's some people started the career for uh, in, in the in the uh, even the india some people started uh, their career in the us uh, banks but in the offshore locations such as in india and after working there for a few years they moved to uh, the us so there are some examples uh, but there are not many right so us in that way is an exception where uh, you know you cannot simply find jobs where companies will be ready to hire you directly from india or from other countries uh, you really need to go there and and get a uh, degree there in the us first before getting hired but it is an english speaking country so there are many opportunities so very international um, one way is to do an ms or mba there and then work there one other way to work for us company is to work at offshore right uh, especially for from india you can find many opportunities to work for us uh, quant uh, companies us banks us insurance companies us quant fund trading firms uh, who who are present uh, in india and there are many by the way and then the next one is in the uk right london is the second biggest financial center in the world and there are many opportunities in in london right all the us banks and trading firms are there there in there in, in london but beside that all the european banks are also in london asian banks are also in london right you in japanese, japanese banks, banks singaporean banks, banks they're all in london so london is one of the biggest financial center in the world the good thing with london is that it's easier to get the work permit there compared to that in the us so in La- if you want to work in london you don't have to go to the uk and do a masters degree there and then get a job there if you have uh some degrees from elsewhere india or elsewhere 
you know you, you get, get some, some experience, experience over there, there in india and then you can directly uh, find opportunities in in london or elsewhere in the uk but most of the quant jobs in the uk are at best out of london uh, it used to be more difficult but after brexit things have become much much better uh, so right now there are many companies uk based companies are hiring uh, directly from uh, abroad including including india including from india uh and there are plenty of opportunities in english speaking country again so uh you will not have to learn a new language there um and long term wage is good also right in 5 years you you get a permanent residency um it's easier also to find uh, uh opportunities and uh, there's a good you know immigration culture also in the uk and uh, yeah getting a uk uh you know passport or or permanent residency is also not that difficult unlike in the us where you know waiting list for green card is is a big issue there right many people do not uh, get a green card there right it's a struggle then uh, you have singapore and and hong kong and these are some smaller market compared to uh, london uh, but again there are some advantages there also uh, easier to get jobs there not as easy as uh, uk but uh, certainly not as difficult as the us right? but long term is not that great because i have heard i do not know but i have heard that in in hong kong it's easier to uh, get that but because of the language issue your career is bit limited right you you will be stuck after some some time in singapore it's is better but i'm not sure about uh, whether it's good if you want to be a permanent resident and get a citizenship there i know that's that's not probably not that great i'm not sure though uh, but there are not uh, like too many opportunities um, in in singapore there certainly but not as many as you will get in europe then you have uh, the middle eastern country right in dubai abu dhabi or uh, other big cities in uh, middle east great money right you will make the most money in these countries and what i have seen is that many experienced quants from london and new york uh, many, many of them, them actually are moving to abu dhabi and dubai to work for quant funds there right it's a new trend i'm i'm assuming it's only because they're getting good money there right so it, it's good there are many top uh, quant funds there uh, many banks and consulting firms in dubai abu dhabi they are also hiring there visa process is is quite easy actually perhaps the easiest and uh, and there are good good things also very good immigrant uh, immigrant culture there the only problem is that uh, long term it's not good because you will not be eligible to be a permanent resident or or to get a passport from those countries um yeah there are other places also for example you can immigrate to eu countries european union countries such as germany netherlands nordic countries um even even spain and and france but i would recommend germany and netherlands and some nordic countries denmark and sweden finland as well a uh, visa process is not that difficult i think uh, in germany and netherlands i i know people getting visa very very easily language is an issue in in most of these european countries because after a while if you want to move up become a leader become a manager it becomes an issue you really need to know then the local language you can't work in consulting right as a quant consultant that's also difficult because you will uh you will have to then learn the local language but long term is good if you are willing to learn the local language then long term is good because it's quite easy to get a permanent residency or, or to you know get a local passport one two cities i would recommend frankfurt and amsterdam right the plenty of opportunities in in quantity finance in these two these two cities next to london i think these are the two best cities to work for if you are working uh if you are interested in quantitative finance okay uh and then um other than that you can also immigrate to australia new zealand or canada these are small markets so there are fewer jobs 
uh, unlike in Europe where you can move from London to you know Amsterdam to to Frankfurt to you know other places like Paris uh, or Madrid but that's not the case with Australia for example it's a small market you go there you're stuck there right or so is New Zealand Canada is a bit better but uh, not as good as European countries uh, immigration is also quite easy for these countries uh, you do not have to you know go through the MS and MBA route like you do in 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 the US you certainly can get opportunities there uh, directly however uh, uh, there are also you know issues like these are crowded markets because the visa process is so easy getting a work permit in Canada or Australia is so easy that uh, a lot of people are going there and it's, it's a bit crowded. One last thing I'd like to mention is that India is also a very, very good place to work as a quant because all the big uh, banks in the world, most of them in fact, are outsourcing uh, quant activities to India and they're paying good money there also. If you take into account to the PPP, the purchasing power parity and the tax rates in India. Uh, in many cases, you will be making more money in India compared to that in Europe or, or in the US. Right. If you really want to emigrate, that's what you want, regardless of how much money you make in India, that's fine. But uh, there are also many opportunities in India. Right. Many trading firms are also coming to India. Uh, many of them are already there. I think. Uh, U US com trading firms, European trading firms also st um, starting their offices in India. So that's also a good thing. Right. You can work as a freelancer also. I know people who are working as freelancer, uh, sitting out of sitting out of India, working for uh, you know foreign companies. Um, it's a bit difficult to work as a quant that way. Uh, although there are few uh, quant funds allowing that. Because quant, uh, quantitative activities are very secretive in nature, that means, um, yes, yeah, uh, so there is a huge risk of, uh, you know, uh, compliance. So hence, you will not have many opportunities if you want to work as a freelancer sitting in offshore, right? Uh, that is, uh, but there are opportunities, right? Very less in number, but there are opportunities. If you have questions on immigration in general, also please let me know. And if you have further question on this particular topic, I'll be happy to respond to you. Thank you.